What's up, my YouTube friends? Part two of the Lumber Chronicles. We're here at, uh, oh, well, yeah, we're here. <laughs> you guys are with me. Here at my local lumber yard. So, something I just found out. I don't use it much, so I don't know much uh, about pricing on it, but 2x4s, construction grade lumber, has like doubled in price. Man, like 2x4s, like, I was just at Home Depot, and crappy 2x4s, did like, crap, is like $7 a piece for a 4x8, you know, a 2x4x8. And here at my lumber yard, like, the premium lumber 2x4s are like $8 and some change, but there's a huge difference in them. Like, Home Depot's premium is like not good man you really have to sort through it to um to pick your boards um yeah it was too crowded there and it was just a mess i'm going to lowe's to pick up some uh foam insulation for my layout and uh we'll do it there we'll we'll go over there and look at what they have and what it's like um, yeah, crazy, man. I, I don't, you know, I don't know what's causing this. Is it, like, shortage, paper shortage, um, construction is, like, booming. There's not enough lumber. I, I don't know what's going on. Pressure-treated lumber is the same way. It's crazy. I was inside, and... A contractor had loaded up material and came in and got a bill and he was like shocked at the price and he re returned it. So construction lumber right now is crazy high. Um, you're better off at this time, at this date, which is September 15th, 2020. You're better off building your layout out of, like, premium pine, like, one-by material. And because that hasn't moved much, and I don't know why, but it's just how it is. Um, some plywood has went up. I don't know what prices are on plywood, but at my supplier, they're pretty stable. Um, but, yeah. It's crazy. So this is probably going to be a longer video. Um, let's go over and take a look at the plywood here. All right. Hey, real quick, part two, right? Stick to the end because there's a lot of good information in here, especially at the end. Sorry, I put it there, but I came back to the shop. Hey, stick around. So this is the plywood room. So this is all like uh, on the left side can't get back far enough this is all like um i'd say furniture grade plywood okay and over on the left side is all you know i don't it's nicer plywood but it's not furniture grade so you got like home assault and mdf there's like a half inch pine and you can see it's really nice it's you know, it's flat, and that's pretty much how it's going to stay. They take care of their lumber, your local lumber yard, three quarters. Then you have some quarter inch. This MDO is pretty good. Um, MDO, I know they use it in signs. This is primed MDO. Um, so it's, I don't want to say water resistant, but... They use it in signs, so it's got to be pretty decent stuff. They have that in three-quarter and half-inch. Um, so the key in picking plywood, right, is the layers. The more layers your plywood has, the better it's going to be. Less layers, not so good. Um, so you want 
you know, obviously five is better than three, 10 is better than five, 13 is better than 10. You get the idea. So that's like the choices that you get at your local lumber yard. Um, I'm trying not to make a big ruckus in here. <laughs> it's quiet for the most part. Um, yeah, lumber, plywood. So, you know, you might pay, you know, $40 for a sheet that three-quarter AC at your local place. And, and your area is going to depend really on your pricing. So you have this, and then I'll take you back to the shop and show you Baltic Birch, which, in my opinion, Baltic Birch is the king of flatness in plywood you know flat is mdf but you know mdf it gets wet and it's bad but they do have water resistant mdf you know you're not going to find it at home depot you'll probably find it at a local lumber yard um mdf is heavy so you know um they're your choices at your local lumber yard uh, you guys out on the uh, West Coast, you'll have something else called apple ply. It's just like Baltic birch, okay? This isn't Baltic birch, but it's just like Baltic birch. This is walnut plywood. Pretty. Um, apple ply is just like Baltic birch. And uh, it's... Uh, made in the US. So Baltic birch plywood is from the Baltics. It's from Europe, Russia, and that's where they make that stuff at. So that's my little plywood thing. Let's go outside and look at two by fours. So in this area is finished four side on this side and rough material on this side. Finished like poplar and yellow pine, uh, western red cedar, um, western Douglas fir. Douglas fir comes in two by fours and that stuff's way expensive. It's like $2.50 a linear foot, but man, that is the straightest stuff I've ever seen. Uh, and they're 16 footers, they're like, Beautiful, beautiful, but they would be like crazy expensive. Let's go check out this uh, two by four. This is their premium two by fours, right? Right now they're like eight something a board a piece. Crazy high. But I guarantee you, you could go through this stack, get whatever you needed right off each eat you know without sorting through this stack if you needed 10 you could just pick 10 but i'm going to show you what to look for and what to keep away from what to keep away from and you know, in two by four you look at the end grain of two by four you see this that's called the pith of the tree p-i-t-h right. sorry for all the noise that's the pith okay you don't want any lumber that has the pith in it, like here. Um, here. Here. The pith is the center of the tree. It's the most prone to crack and twist. If, you know, you would have to look at the other end of this board to see if the pith is still in there. But when you're picking through lumber, you don't want that, okay? Keep away from that. So I would just discard that for something like that. That's fine for a wall. If you're doing, uh, that's fine if you're just doing two by four in, you know, construction in your building a room or something. But for your layout, you know, where you want stuff to be straight and not twisty. I would stay away from anything like that with the pith in it. Um, 
yeah that's just my opinion on that um yeah let's go over to Lowe's and see what's uh, up over there so yeah Lowe's plywood all right this is kind of like the same that we would see that we saw at the uh, um local lumber yard right ac ply uh, they might call it a little different um it's pretty decent so if you see plywood that's laying flat right that's pretty good i mean it's going to stay flat if you see plywood like that bow you're not getting that out you can put a million screws in that and i wouldn't use it go down and pick flatter stuff it's a pain but that's part of dealing with these big stores you know they move so much lumber and material that it just it doesn't get treated well you know even though it's flat just like the other place it just doesn't get treated well whether it's a different grade I wouldn't be surprised if it was okay so like that three quarters like forty forty dollars a sheet so for fifty dollars a sheet you can get something that has more plies right flatter it's a furniture grade Lowe's furniture grade still you still see defects in it and like, hey, and if you see something like that, right, a defect in the top, right, don't be afraid to ask these lumber dudes to mark it down because you'll get a better deal on it. Just a secret for you and me, right? More plies. There's probably six or something. Let's see. Look. I don't know. It looks like uh, six plies. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six or seven plies, something like that. So here's a little tip. I see some of you guys doing this, right? Right. When you're cutting your lumber, I see guys cutting thin strips, right? Or cutting your plywood, right? Plywood, just like anything else, when you cut plywood with the grain, it's stronger. When you cut plywood across the grain, if you're getting thin strips across this grain, those thin strips are not going to be very strong. They're really flexible. So you don't want to cut, if you can avoid it, cutting across the grain to get thin strips. You want to go with the grain. That's the strongest, strongest way the plywood is, okay? So you want to keep that in mind when you're cutting your plywood. Uh, it's getting crowded here. So you see there are 2x4s. Our 2x4s look pretty good. Um, they have like a premium grade. And also they have, so you got to keep in mind, sometimes they have what's called stud. Uh, stud lengths. It's 92 inches long. So sometimes if you see like... So that 92 inches, right? So they're not full eight footers. So keep that in mind too. That's the other thing. You get, I forget what they call it. Select stud. Uh, but, you know, it's basically um, the length, exact length of a two by four wall. If you were, you, you know, just framing up a wall so you don't have to cut it and get waste. You know, you got your cap. You got your cap and your top plate, and these are exact lengths to make an eight foot wall. So keep that in mind too when you're picking two by fours. But these two by fours here look pretty good, but again, you don't want that, okay? And if possible, when you're picking lumber, look at the end grain of the lumber, okay? That tells you how the board was cut, all right? Um, so, this lumber here is vertical green, 
this would be more stable, but it wouldn't be because, you know, it still has the pith in it, right? Like we talked about earlier. But if you could cut that out and you were only using this part of the board, that would be good lumber, okay? So the end grain tells a lot of stories, you know, whether it's flat sawn, this is flat sawn, this would be considered quarter sawn, then you have, um, this would be considered like a riff sawn, okay, um, flat sawn, face sawn, um, this would be like somewhat quarter, so that's another way to pick good lumber, all right, so remember you don't want you don't want the pith of the tree in any of your 2 by 4s for your layout. Okay, that's it. That's it from uh, Lowe's. So this will be the end of part two here. Just, uh, we're back at the shop, right? And I just want to compare something to, with you guys, right? <clears throat> this is Baltic Birch, right? Three quarters. Um, I think it's 11 plies, right? This piece is only like four inches wide, right? Look at that, man. There's no sag. I couldn't bend this if I tried, okay? That's the strength that you get out of this material, right? This top is granite. It's totally flat on my table saw, okay? Just like this piece of plywood, totally flat. Right. Look at it, man. So here we remember we were talking about the best way to cut plywood. Here's one of the advantages of a Baltic birch, okay? Remember I said you cut these thin strips, right? Well, if you notice, the grain on this piece here is going... Um, cross cut wise right it's going opposite of long grain if you did this with any of your other plywoods this little piece wouldn't be this flat it wouldn't be this strong I can't bend it okay and this is Baltic birch okay this is half inch and what do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plies, okay? And sometimes you can get this 11 plies, it just depends, right? Baltic birch, that's the difference with Baltic birch. You can't do this without it being, you know, you cut a little piece this wide and your grain going cross crosswise, you know that piece is going to be like flopping all over the place. Be like, woo, woo. <laughs> that is the difference between Baltic Birch, man. If you have the opportunity to use it, get it. You know, if you're uh, Menards, I know is uh, my friends uh, talk about Menards all the time, and I know they carry it, and they carry it in four by eight sheets, and it's reasonable. Um, like I said, um, here I get it in five by five sheets and they're about, uh, 50 bucks, 40 some dollars a sheet. And I can get it in four by eight sheet, but it's like really expensive. I don't know why, but it is, but five by fives work better for me. Um, they're a little bit awkward, but. Uh, hey, this is the end of part two. So, remember, if you're at one of the big box stores and you see some plywood you like, right, and it's got some defects to it, ask them for a discount. Um, as long as it's all the other parameters are good, you know, as long as it's got the plies that you want, and it's flat don't buy something that's all wavy and stuff because that stuff is just not getting flat okay i don't care what you do to it 
Start flat and flat. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> uh, be well, be blessed. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, and thanks for sticking this long because this is a long video. Be well, be blessed. See ya!